So how you doing ladies and gentlemen, your boy Dwayne Skins here and what we're going to do real quick is uh, simply show you how to create um, a YouTube thumbnail inside of the Genius Marketing Pro Image Editor 2. So we're going to go straight to it. Okay. Now under where it says my account, scroll all the way down to where it says image in it, editor, click on that. We can name it. Brand new thumbnail. Let's see what's better right there. Okay. Now I'm gonna click create new, <clears throat> and I'm gonna make the width a little bit bigger. I'm just writing in. Matter of fact. I mean, you could get real specific with the right size. I think it's like 12, 80, and 700 something for the exact size that you would want in order to have a YouTube thumbnail. But for this purposes, uh, um, I did it like this and it came out pretty fine. So, what we're going to do is simply click create. All right. Then, what we're going to do is go to color. And what color do I see? We're gonna roll with a yeah, we gonna roll with that. Alright. Click apply. Now I can add the text. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And start with this writing. There's so many different um, types of font. Okay, you see here, one through eight, but we're gonna stick with that. So, now, also we change the font size. All right, and also I can move this out the way. All right, even uh, click this up because this is the layers of the different layers of the image images and etc. That uh, you have on your image that you create. So I'm gonna name this creating uh, logo big GMP image editor. All right, got that. And I would like to center it, which is something I like to do. And also double click it, so that way I can move it like that. Okay. Also, I can change the font size like that. Double click so I can. Go back here, and also I could change it like this too as well. That way, the bigger the better, grab people's attention. Okay. Also, I can add a different color if I want to. Like the words, I could make it purple. Okay, we'll roll with that. Choose it. Also, change the font. You can add a background, but I don't, nah, I ain't feeling that. So, all right. Get out of that. Now, choose the outline. Just cool. I'm right, gonna choose that black. Just like black. And I also can make the Outline went bigger. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna roll with that. I can add shapes and all that fancy stuff. Click on the canvas, you know, blah blah. Okay, got it. Hmm. Well, we'll roll with something else. 
box set right here. Okay, right there. Okay, color. What do we want? Let's go with black. If we could so choose. I'm going to change the radius if you would like. And it should look like it was. So I um, could go up a little bit. Okay. Add the border. Go purple. Not too much purple. Shadow. Let's see. Click on that. The blur. So yeah, you could do all kinds of things with it. It, it. That's why I like it. You can do it real simple. See how quick I'm doing this. And I can change whatever I want to change. On the go of it. Could choose that, and I can offset a little bit. That's pretty cool. Also, I can toy with that, but since I'm fine with that, I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'm gonna simply click open because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add an image. Okay, where it says upload from computer. Go to my pictures. Open, hit that, bam, there we go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this picture inside of this. Alright. See how cool that is. That, that way you brand yourself. And also, what I want to do next, I can do a couple more things, but... I think that's all I'm going to do. Sometimes I like to put my uh, YouTube or my Facebook information on here. Uh, maybe my Instagram or Twitter. But uh, that's pretty much it. Um, real quick and simple. You could do uh, a lot more things with this image editor. And I'm sure you get the idea. And see uh, the, with the uh, few layers I have right here. So now I can click save. But... Since I have what I call snipping tool, and I just like the snipping tool, uh, that's the I'm gonna click new. Cause the last video I created a simple logo, so you gonna click new, and I'm just simply be right on the money. Bam! There we go. Now just simply save the file as whatever I want to save it. save it wherever you want to save it so now that's done and like I said all you do is simply click save because you already gave it a name but I don't have to do it if I don't want to um, because I already saved it with my snipping tool you just click save like that and name it whatever you want to name it okay Two. 
Alright, let's save it. And it should start downloading to your computer. But just in case anything might go wrong, I always like to use the snippet tool. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you create a YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to create another one for this specific thumbnail. Hold up, while I'm at it, I'm going to do something. Okay. I uploaded a video, right? So, go to video manager, right? I'm going to go back. It says return to edit. Okay, custom thumbnail, right? Then what you want to do is go down. We're going to find that image that we created. Okay, right here. Bang. Click open. There you have it. So if you click save changes, and that's how you upload and create your YouTube thumbnail. So that's it. That's it, folks. Peace out. Much love and take care.